Deputy Correction Officers and a captain indicted over an incident where an inmate attempted to take his own life. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. The four workers are accused of waiting nearly eight minutes before helping the inmate. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis joined us live from the courthouse in the Bronx with reaction from the family. Jenna? Marisa Christine, the attorney for the family, which has been seeking justice since 2019, says this is a step in the right direction. The officers and captain involved face charges of reckless endangerment and official misconduct. Handcuffed correction officers quietly entered the courtroom, inside only uttering the words. Outside, the family of Nicholas Feliciano holding his picture, making noise. At the end of the day, even though these officers are going to get charged, my Nicholas will never be the same due to the amount of damage that was done to him. My grandson has anoxic brain damage, and um, they took his future away. November marks three years since the then 18-year-old attempted to take his life while in custody at Rikers. His grandmother has been fighting for justice since. My grandson didn't belong there in the first place. They knew he had mental issues. An October report by the Correction Department Oversight Board notes Feliciano was hanging for 7 minutes and 51 seconds in plain view of correction officers and others before they came to his aid. And it was captured on surveillance video. It's just horrific. Um, I was, I'm angry. Um, you know, I, I seen the video myself. And I seen what they did. David Rankin represents the Feliciano family. To see some guards actually charge is a step in the right direction. Officers Kenneth Hood, Mark Wilson, Daniel Fullerton, and Captain Terry Henry had no comment leaving court alongside their attorneys. The president of the Correction Officers Benevolent Association said, Today's indictment of our officers stemming from an incident that occurred over three years ago is further evidence that this case is being driven more by politics than facts, pointing out the U.S. Attorney's Office did not pursue criminal charges. The family's attorney echoing the many calls to shut down Rikers Island. Not one more death at Rikers Island, and not one more Nicholas Feliciano. The officers were released and will be back in court here on September 15th. Two resigned from the correction department in February and were told the others will be suspended. We're live outside Bronx Court tonight. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thank you.